All right, guys, welcome back to some more Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, last episode, we left off right as we rescued uh, Gaia. We got to the, our base of operations. This is kind of going to be our home base for the rest of the playthrough. Um, and we finally got the first piece of Gaia going. Uh, we got, I think it was, uh, the heck was the name of the program? Start with an M. I forgot what the name of the program was, uh, but it's like the first like piece of Gaia. And our goal is to get all the pieces to reassemble her and make her fully functional. And um, yeah, we got the first piece. Now this part's going to be a little bit of dialogue. It's going to kind of be Gaia explaining things. So uh, I'm going to definitely make sure to to listen to a lot of the dialogue, especially for those of you guys who are new to the storyline. And uh, yeah, let's go from there. So it is going to be a little slow. If you guys are watching this afterwards, you can probably just skip over this if you're not interested in, in all the dialogue, but we are going to be checking it out. But uh, I appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out today. Uh, let's talk to Gaia. So I already explored the base last episode. Um, there was a bunch of bedrooms and stuff like that are all empty. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. Uh, subordinate functions. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Minerva, that was the name Thankfully, of. the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. and Aruthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet. Damn, so it's infected it everything. It's exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. Easy enough, chat. The cartridge Easy. your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Uh, Tim, holy crap, man. <laughs> right off the bat with a huge super chat. That kind of rhymed, didn't it, Bars? Um, good to see you, brother. Hope I uh, struck gold. Uh, guys, so trade night wasn't that great. Um, but I, I did. I came home because uh, I was supposed to get a Moonbrion. A lot of you guys have no ideas what that is. But it's a super expensive card. And um, the guy didn't end up wanting to trade it. 
So I was a little upset, uh, came home. I had uh, some Evolving Skies packs. I, I opened them this morning and lo and behold, I pulled the fucking Moonbrion, guys. Literally $700 card raw. Um, this card looks mint condition. Yeah, mint condition. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it got a 10. So it's about a, probably about a $1,200, $1,300 card. Just fucking pulled it. So uh, somebody was looking out. Somebody was looking out because I didn't do the trade. Um, I didn't do the trade and then it ended up, I ended up getting the card. So yeah, it was ridiculous. And I ended up pulling the $170 Glaceon VMAX too. So yeah, it was absolutely insane. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um, uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes. This was recorded by your focus. Damn guy's got the juice. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Uh, Kenneth with the 22 months, the renowned machine killer Brian is on the pro. Hey, uh, I tried to kill one of the big ones last episode. We got smashed on, dude. So I don't know if we could be considered renowned. We, we kill like the little guys, We're picking on the little machines. Uh, but Kenneth, thank you so much for almost two years, man. That's crazy. Tim, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. Uh, that is legit luck. I have that card too. It's so sought after. Glad it yeah, man, I, I was blown away like when i pulled it i was like oh my god oh my god like i was freaking out uh, i called my wife i'm like oh my god like i freaking actually pulled this card um yeah it was it was it was pretty crazy it was it was pretty surreal um and then i like i said to pull that and the glaceon v max out of literally it was just single packs like that booster box that i made myself um it was just packs from random different assortments of, of products and uh yeah we ended up getting out of one of those and i got the 170 dollars glaceon v max so i was like yo i got i ended up going and buying a lottery ticket today <laughs> i was like yo I, I, i'm all full of luck today it's crazy and chris thank you so much for the gifted and whoever receives that, welcome to the fam. Alpha, what's going on? How you doing, man? All right, let's, so let's ask about these uh, subordinate functions real quick. Um, you detected... The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. 
Their responses to my query pattern were irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. And so what about the missing ones? The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Yeah. So, Hephaestus is, is the big one, chat. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. <laughs> In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8% of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. There it is, chat. You heard it here first. Blake with the super chat. I really enjoy watching your streams. Uh, this is a good game. Have I played a DLC? I've never played a DLC for this one, no. We did the uh, DLC for the first one. I've never done the DLC for this one. And Patrick, what's going on for the a like Iron Fund? <laughs> How you doing today, brother? You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions, which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. But Hephaestus helped defeat the Zeniths. So. Once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. 
I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Tim with this, this patch. <laughs> See? <laughs> patch is getting that revenge. Tim, I appreciate the super chat, brother. I won't be playing anything else today. Um, no, this will be the only stream I did. We, I had some stuff that we had to do today, so... Alright, let's find out if she knows anything about the Farzinets. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Farzenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life. And then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. I forgot exactly what those, uh, what the far. I know we find out more about the Farzinas later on, but yeah, I, I completely forgot what the hell their whole jig you is. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Shark dude, thank, thank you for the super chat, man. I haven't watched wrestling in years, dude. No, we went to a live wrestling event, but I know I won't be watching WrestleMania. Thank you so much for the super chat, brother. Uh, game seems to have a lot of dialogue and little gameplay. No, 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 no. So, so, so uh... Charles, the way this game is broken, all this dialogue that I'm reading right now is 100% optional. Unless uh, you're a player who wants all the dialogue, you, there's just, it's kind of like a Fallout game. You know how you have your yellow mission dialogue, and then you have like all the white optional dialogues that most people skip over if you don't care about the story. Um, this game is the same way. Like you can just bypass this dialogue, click this mission, and then just skip all the dialogue if you want. I personally want to hear all the dialogue, but this game has as much dialogue or as less, the least amount of dialogue dialogue as you want and as much gameplay and the least amount of gameplay like the whole game is nothing but gameplay outside of these little uh sections here where you talk but yeah the length of dialogue is completely dependent on you as a player i choose to listen to every bit of dialogue because i want the full story i want i, I want to know everything about everybody and um things like that but yeah you as a player don't have to do that if you don't want to uh tim thank you thank you for the gifted brother i appreciate it man uh, whoever receives that, welcome to the fam. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. 
that's... Okay, but... I mean... This... this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Uh, the signal and the, the others... The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes, as your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates. Yeah, these dudes are strong as hell. robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. The blight. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed Callie, what's up, to brother? How you doing? reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Got it. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore, might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakt territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas. Oh was yeah. There. I forgot a Vegas was in, in this game. Of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. 
Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's all level based for the most part, so we'll have to go for um, Aether. I Aether. think I'll head for Aether. Yeah, Aether first is going to be then the first I will one. Assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. There it is. That's all we needed. That Thank vote you. of confidence, okay. baby. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Episode 20 of Fallout 4? Man, that was a good series. That was a good series. <laughs> All right, Tana, what's going on? How you doing? All right, so we got to head. Let me see. What level am I? Let me, let me see here. We are level 18. Um, okay, we should be good to okay. go. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing. Let me see. Is there any quests in Plain Song? Uh, can you... There we go. Yeah, we actually got work we could do in Plain Song real quick. Before we're heading West Chat, let's actually go knock out some more stuff um, in this region. We got we got Don't quests and missions. Or I could also look around here some more. Let me see. How the hell... So I'm going to switch my quest. Yeah, we got we got a couple of other missions that we can knock out real quick. Hey Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Okay, awesome. So yeah, we're heading back uh, east. Oh, we've got tons of stuff we can do in this area. We are back, guys. All right. Ooh, the snow brought the chill.
Go to the farthest city west for the. Nah, I don't want. I don't want to head all the way west yet. And I'd like to like systematically like break down the map. You know what I mean? And um, I, I I was considering going west to to knock out some of the cauldrons. Yeah, Zo uh, Varl and Zoe, they'll be all right. They got each other. They're going to spend time, you know, they're all right. Okay, so let's see. First things first, we got a, ru a rune there I'm not too concerned with. Um, I think I can fully get bristlebacks now, so I want to go see if we can get our hands on a bristleback. This is our new mount. Oh. Wow, this is way huge. So yeah, this is it's my new mount here, guys. We got ourselves a bristle pack. Which as you can see, these things are massive. Let me see, what's this a light attack? Okay, it's got a big horn attack there. Go see what this is over here. Got a claw strider over there. So can't get through that stuff yet. That's the uh and this is going west, so we don't have to worry about that. Check what this is up here. Kind of just hitting all these different locations. And there's a hunting ground here we could check, too. Wow. That's strong. We knocked it in one hit. Take a look inside. All right, let's check out this room real quick. Okay, what's in here? Code on this. Interesting. Okay, no code on that that Let's I've seen. Help. Looks like this door needs some kind of key, key module to open. Better search the ruin. I wonder what this place was. The 
This could be used. You know what? I don't know why, but every time I play this game, it makes me want to play Days Gone. I don't know what it is about, like, the world, the open world, like, feel. It, it has that same awesome vibe that, like, Days Gone has, where you really feel like you're, like, exploring the world and shit. And there's just, like, so many different things to see. Rail cart. Huh. I wonder if it can still move. So we're supposed to pull it or push it? Let's see. What does this switch do? Oh, hold on. I think we might be able to pull this down that way. I gotta get closer. Need days gone, man. I okay. wish, dude. Sony already pretty much said no to that, though. I would love Days Gone too. All right, so that now we should be able to switch this to another track, right? As far as it goes, it looks like this switch controls the tracks. She, she has a pulley system that's assisting her. Yeah, you see the thing on our wrist? It's got like a built-in pulley mechanism. So, yeah, she's putting an effort, but... There's some kind of relic in that room. How do I get in there? So that's the goal. Can you walk on this or some shit? Oh, you can. There's the module. The key module. Perfect. Now, am I going to need a code for this? Yep, we need a freaking code. Damn it. Okay, so. Here I come. Gotta move this down to the other side now. I'll move this over here. Something over here to my left. That sounds sus. Uh, claw shutters. Tracks are lined up with the curve side now. I'm surprised this rusty ass thing even moves, Jeff. Look through my data points. Could help. I didn't see a code in those data points.
One of the data points probably said something about the code being on the building, didn't it? What was that? One six what? This needs a code. One six. I, I found some data in the ruin that might help. One six. Was it two zero chat or something seven three? What the hell was it? One six something. I know there was a three and a seven. I think. Two three two three one six two three. I don't think so. No. Maybe the maybe it was maybe the, it was a nine. 1923. I'm in. Yeah. The si it wasn't a six. The nine broke and swung down. What? There ain't nothing here. Oh. Really? Try to grab onto that rope there. Now I gotta get a little more of a jump. There we go. Okay. Where to now? Okay, so we're gonna blow this, bring that cart inside. These are four. The we keep getting these. I'll hold on to it for now. I find a use for it later. I want to figure out how to get that damn green gem outside. I'm trying to figure out how the hell we can get outside. Get that there. Can't climb the roots. Can't grab onto that. It's not a, the, a huge deal, but... Mm, whatever. Use a grapple and pull it down. I don't. I don't think so. It's not getting down up here. You can't grab onto that. The top parts. There's the ring. Could smell the ring. No. You would think you'd have had to just climb the roots. I'm not too strapped about it, guys. It is what it is. 
Whoa, what is this? Did you break somehow? No. Nice. All right, so we got that one um, grazer site. We got that. I uh, can't get to that. So we're going to head back towards Plain Song. Um, on my way, I'll hit this. We'll get this camp, and then we'll kind of cut up this way towards Plain Song. Hit this camp here. And then once we get in, see what's going on there. I tried to jump from the, the train car, too. It won't, it won't let me out. There's nothing to grab onto. Oh shit, yeah you can, what the fuck? Didn't I try to jump up and grab that earlier guys and she wouldn't grip on the ledge? It was because it... Yeah, she did that. I must have literally tried to jump right here and it just slipped. No, we, we had it, yeah, we got it. I, I thought I tried to jump up on there. I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay, so we got those flying guys there. Okay. <laughs> this person back is so big. So this the point tower. These are those uh where you where you An image of the old there it is. Huh. Oh, it looks like plain song. And some kind of metal structure. Hmm. Maybe up there. Seems like we gotta be quite far for this one. No. Okay, so it's got to be up there. The windmills. Yeah, those windmills got to be in the picture. So, from what I can see, we're going to be looking straight between the two windmills. So, right there. Yeah, at first I thought that cell tower was in it, but it's not. It's these windmills.
That H and lookout seems promising. I could try to line up the image from there. I can't believe all the canisters are already armored, chat. No, that's not it. That went well enough. I think we got to get up on that um, rock here. Russia, what's going on, brother? How you doing? This? Maybe? No, I think maybe up there. Yeah, this is it. I'm almost there. Maybe? That did it. There we go. So this is that area you used to look like. So much for that. These in my pack. <laughs> Rebels. I need to get rid of their leader. And then the rest will retreat. Oh, a little rebel camp right here. Okay, so I was wondering what this was. Rebel outpost, find a rebel's leader. Yeah, we could actually clear this right now. Time to pull out shock ammo. There he is. Let's see if we can get higher.
so they don't know what. Stalking them pretty good up here. That should just be the big boss guy. Ass. Unlock the tags. We'll have to figure out what to do with them later. The ballista might give me some extra firepower. Oh shit, you can use these. Too bad there's no big machines or anything here for me to use it on. Is there any reason why YouTube wouldn't allow me? Um, the only thing I can think of, Paul, that would uh, prevent you from getting gifted memberships is your region. So I don't know where you are in the world. If you're in America, then yeah, I have no clue. It doesn't make any sense. But I know there are some regions in the world where you can't utilize any of YouTube's um, features. Yeah, if you're, if you're in America, dude, yeah, there should be no reason for you to not be able to partake. Okay, so that's pretty much all the goods out of here. We got another ballista here, too. I'm gonna test this out. How much damage you guys think it's gonna do to this? That was, that, that was quite a bit of da damage.
Okay, so let's head into Plain Song real quick. We do got this city up here that we got to go help, but I wanted to swing through Plain Song real quick and see if there was any other um, side quests we could grab while we're in there. Now that we're riding this massive bristle back. Wait, Tim, really? No, I didn't see it, Tim. With the five gifted brother. What? Yeah, you, you, you violated probation within the first three minutes, dude. You're about to go to jail. Chat, what happens if you violate probation in real life? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start upholding the law. You must be Aloy. Please sit. You'll want to talk to me if you plan on surviving out here. Here, right, let's talk There's to her. I, on the I plan on surviving out here. My people may be peaceful. But the machines that plague our lands are not. Those of us willing to fight train at the hunting grounds northwest of here. That's good to hear. We're gonna hit that, yeah. I might stop by if I'm in the area. Might get some good weapons. Tim with the No. Tim. Really? I appreciate you, brother. And Talon Bar. Um, I heard you were still on donation probation, Tim. Me on the really? Really? I see how it is, guys. Paul with the gifted brother. How you doing tonight, man? Good Will Martinez, out, man. what is going on, brother? I told you, every 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 time you guys violate probation, another granny is getting brutally punched in the mouth. And that's on you guys. So when you guys sit there and say, I'm a granny puncher, just think, you're the ones doing it. It's a choice. It's a choice. So are these up or can't tell? Yeah, I think all of them are up. Land be kind to you. See, what does this guy have? Hold on. We stop, we or, strike what do you what do you got? Ah, uh, nice. So frost hunter bow, um, slicing hunter bow. What is this arrow here? Optimized for tearing off machine parts. Ooh. Oh, uh, we got the hard weave sharp shot. Yo, this slicer, slicing hunter bow, though, really. Oh, Paul, it was ridiculous, dude. Yeah, man, the, the amount of luck I had today. Tim! There's, a, there's another five grannies, dude. Now we, now we know who's the real granny. Granny Slapper, Soul Sucker 9000, Tim. 
Tim out here slaying the grannies on a daily basis. Hmm. So this one here, chat, I can get I can get acid and shock, okay? Um Which means, cause I, I need, I need to, we need to optimize my inventory a little bit, because as you guys see, I have a lot of weapons that kind of overlap, and um, cause I need, I need fire, man. Oh, I didn't even know we got this one. But this is just straight impact. Uh, this one is impact and explosive. This one is just impact. Yeah, so none of these bows really will work for me right now because I can't get rid of... Well, I, actually, I can. Our normal hunter bow because I have acid on another one. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get rid of this hunter bow. All right, let me, let me do this. I'm going to buy this slicing hunter bow. Yep, we'll get this. All right. And then I'm going to sell this other crappy hunter bow. This one. Okay. And then... Explosive frost. It's a lot of knockdown in that right there. All right, so we'll keep that for right now. Let's upgrade that bad boy real quick. This one, the slicing hunter bow. Okay, so easy first level. DPS girl with the super chat. My bitchy neighbor is a granny slap away. You guys are savages. I'm not influencing people to slap their granny neighbor. Come, come on, chaps. I, I, I punched one grandma in the face, chat. How does that make me? How am I setting the example? Like, is that, is that all it takes is just one? A wide maw tusk. It's crazy, Chad. You punch one grandma, dude. One singular grandma. All right, so now we can get that other warrior bow that has acid. Well, no, actually, because my other one has acid and fire. Then we got a shock warrior. All right, let's get these quests and then I, I, I could hunt wide maws. Uh, where are they? I think they're over here, right? Yeah, we, we can get wide maws over here. We can also see if that dude has uh, any for sale of that scrap place. Downbird the super chat, my mother-in-law's fair game. <laughs> my mother-in-law is also damn. We got we got we got a lot of granny mother-in-laws that need to get slapped. I mean, I don't know why you guys are coming to me. I'm not. I'm, I'm not over here like blessing. No, 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 chat. Leave me out of this. <laughs> don't get me involved. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the chorus. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. 
The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. I mean, we could do it. It's not a big deal. Well, I've killed multiple dogs on accident, dude. Hi, T, what's going on, brother? How you doing today? That's good to see you, man. Uh, Alpha, who started the gift train for the 705 gifted members? Uh, it was uh, Hudsey, Tim, and I believe Billy. Uh, there was a bunch of people, uh, but I believe it was those three that kind of really started getting the ball rolling on it. Absolute legend. Uh, yeah, Charles. Yeah, Charles. Charles. I want to say Charles was the initial one, actually. The very first person to do it because yeah he just kept going and going yeah it was charles yeah 100 percent uh i'm not gonna punch a granny no dude all right so let's see what's going How on here i chosen to join the chorus the chorus chooses its own but they can't do so in isolation they must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance, unpleasant though it might be. So you had to admit Kalai, or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. The Outlander catches on quick. The Rite of Discovery. What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the Promontoria, the place where the first Utaro beheld Plainsong. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took, mark her eyes with dye, and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the Promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new chorus member used to make the journey, but because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to, but, as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. What were Kalai's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten along. Plain Song is dying. But Kalai believed we don't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara leave Plainsong and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots, even as fire approaches. But you're not trees. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> but you're not trees, bro. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. <laughs> but Thank you're you. not trees. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. Yeah, these, yeah, these people are so rude, man. Like, I just want to slap this guy in the mouth uh, not her because i chat whatever dude they're rude as hell man not, it has nothing to do with her age or her being a great they're just rude well what the hell lucius whoa dude no way man coming in and dropping 20 gifted on the channel just woke up, didn't you? <laughs> i really appreciate the love Everybody receives it, one of those memberships. Welcome to the family. Man, you guys have been so, so generous over the past few days with these gifted memberships. It is, it's so crazy, guys. And Lucius, you've already done so much. That's absolutely crazy. 
God, man, you guys are crazy, dude. No new record. No, 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 Alpha. We don't. We never again. We don't. We don't ever have to do that again. That was. YouTube sent me a message, chat. I have armor. <laughs> you guys gifted so many me members. YouTube sent me a message, dude. <laughs> yeah, they, they sent me a congratulations, like like oh, this whole spiel and uh, everything. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's any. So this is actually good stealth armor, low profile, and then card to shadow. Yeah, guys, yeah, you guys gifted so many members. YouTube was like, whoa, what's going on over here? It's just like. Armin's for sale. May you Tim with the super chat brother. Uh, slap the grand. I really. No, I don't hey, want to slap her. Good to see you again. That's our boy. Yeah. Oh, we saved him. Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What Tim, I appreciate the love, brother. It's quite a place. <laughs> sure, as long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. It won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. Really, Tim? What? Because you said, do it, Brian. Slap the granny. We know you want to. No, I don't, dude. I've never even slapped a granny before. I've only punched Do you need one. Rations, Hunter? Yesterday, I hope. Ah. Unnatural. The way she, she moves. right through. Appalling. So where the hell is this? You're about to skirmish in barren life. Is it up top here? Yeah. Trying to find this quest here, chat. I don't. Whoa! That would have sucked. Oh, there she is. Oh, he. Is something wrong? Sounds like someone's in trouble. It's Jax. You heard some rumor about Tanakh loitering around where they're not supposed to be. Took off south for Stone's Echo the next day to find them. Damn fool. Who is this Jax exactly? My friend. Ain't it obvious? Bit younger than me, can still move without every bone creaking. <laughs> Knows his way around a bow, too. Good company to share a drink with. When there's sweet sap to drink anyway. But I told him, stick your hand in bramble and you're bound to catch a fist of thorns. Maybe I should find this guy. Stone's Echo, he said? That's right. Uh, if you don't mind me, these roots aren't gonna dig themselves. There we go, guys. So we got every quest I've seen here in town. I do want to see what this is, though. Hudson with the gifted, brother. Thank you. And Army Gale with the gifted. You guys are actually out of control. I appreciate the love, guys. Seriously. Um, always. Greatest Brian Menard quote, I never slept. Oh my god. No, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean like. You know what? Never mind, chat. Dress for protection, dress to impress. You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. I like to see how different tribes use roots. Because you said you weren't going to do it today, babe. 
It's amazing and then you did how it anyways. the right hue can make armor no, that sucks, though. so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. Mm, so this is dyes for armor. If anything, you should don't even worry about this Nothing this time because uh, we're already halfway through it. May not be the so just tribes, get everything set up for next time, or next month. Plants or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll right. keep an eye out for them. Um. Okay, so there is one more over here too. That's all at the top. So I'm just trying to get all the missions possible here and um This is pretty nifty how they they went ahead and turned all this into like rain collector. These people are super resourceful, man. All right, so we're good. We got all the quests done in this area. We actually have three here. Um, we got the base there, or unknowns there, and the point there, claw shredder site. So let's hit this hunter ground first. This game is open world, yes, Will. Uh, no, we're not playing um, Sons of the Forest today. We just played it yesterday, didn't we? You guys think this hunting ground is going to be hard as hell? We're going to learn today. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion. I appreciate the aid you've given our chief. Welcome to the hunting grounds. My name is Avina. I'm the caretaker of the grounds. I make sure they're kept fit for training against machines, whether they be used by our soldiers or our Utaru neighbors. Same as the Karja then. Ah, yes. We've heard those cowards claim the idea of hunting grounds as their own, but our soldiers have been training in places like this since before the clan wars. I'm willing to bet our trials are beyond anything the Karja would dare face. A skilled hunter like you might actually find them challenging, rewarding too. Win our trials and you'll earn stripes. That in turn will garner you some medals. Probably won't max Remnants out these of our ones. victory against the Karja during the Red Raids. You can take medals to the arena at the Grove, our capital. Its keepers will let you exchange them for the finest weapons and gear our tribe has to offer. I'll keep that in mind. I should get going then. I have other grounds to inspect, but rest assured they will be open to you. Walk with the ten. Okay, let's see how this goes, guys. Are these your hunting grounds? They are. Try a challenge, and we'll see if you live up to your reputation. Okay. 
always reaps the best harvest to approach a battle unseen is to retain the element of surprise okay so it seems like it might be some stealth focused trials which i'm cool with so we have the silent looting trial loot supply caches without alert alerting or damaging any machines i mean i'm the freaking stealth master chat um so we got three and a half minutes go down the rope and i'll start timing the trial I'll be the stealth now, so I'm on the next one, chat. Now, this one was just a warm up. Had second thoughts? That, that one was just, the just a warm up. from the cauldrons, I can override traffic of the rumors now. see you live up to the stories outlander we should have got all of our stripes there yeah it's like an active camo it's a it's a, a skill makes you invisible yeah we got all three stripes perfect next is the silent strike Trial kill machines using silent strike and strike from above to remain undetected. Too easy, guys. This is what I do. Jump down with the ropes and we'll begin the trial. How many do I gotta kill? Three?
missed the gold by like literally one second. We gotta redo that one. I didn't expect that one to be there uh, when I dropped off that ledge. I only seen the other one. I believe this is yours. We got the half stripe. Yeah, so we got one more we could do. Jump down with the ropes and we'll begin the trial. So that should be gold or three full or the full stripes. I used to be a marksman back in the sky. Take this. You've earned it. Perfect. So we got Fanghorn and Medium Core. Next is Silent Gliding Trial. Use your shield wing to glide undetected over a machine and kill them from above. Got a minute. Jump down with the ropes and we'll begin the trial. I tried to stealth kill that one, but I don't think I was high enough in the air, so I just regularly attacked it. You wanna start over? Jump down with the ropes, and we'll begin the trial. Dude, stop. I'm trying to glide and it keeps fucking doing that. You kidding me, dude? Is it the same button to glide? Yeah, you gotta be way higher in the air. It's the same button to glide as it is to do that stupid ass gravel thing. Had oh. second thoughts? One of my best trials. Just use any rope to jump in, and I'll start timing you. 
Watch how I'm gonna do it. She's gonna fucking grapple to that. I already know, dude. I know her body. Same, same, same bullshit. Annoying as hell, dude. I believe this is yours. We got it, though. And we got the grand full stripes for completing the whole entire area. Max level. This. You know. This will actually help craft tools, traps, potions faster. This will help us with looting too. Increase our trap limit. Damn, we should have put, put points in this. Food buff, resilient trapper, quick wire. So the hunting ground was not too bad. All right, let's see. So we can't afford any of this. Okay, so this sun touch hunter bow is quite nice. Um, hard weave sharp shot canister. Oh, so these canister rope casters are actually pretty nice. It um, it allows you to do your own um elemental thing so you shoot this it'll put a canister hanging on it then you hit it with the arrow cause that reaction and uh they could be pretty big guys so we could do uh electric we could do oh this is huge we need a tracker burrower circulator um that was a tracker burrower is that a, is that a special type of because there is different types of uh machines so I'm wondering if a tracker burrower is a different variant. We'll see. Um, yeah, once we clear out this area up here, the sound and help these people, we'll, we'll travel back down to the uh, our scavenge or salvage camp. There, I want to see if they have some parts 
So we got we got a list of parts that we need in order for some nice upgrades. This mount, the uh, bristleback's nice. So I don't know if I can go in this. Uh, I know there's a thing that allows you to breathe underwater at some point in the game. Um, let me see. Okay, we're good, we're good. Plenty of air pockets. Sunken cavern? I didn't see anything in it, though. I mean, I was also rushing to get out of it. There's this one chest here. Might be more in there. Once we get the uh, breathing apparatus, we'll we got to really mess around underwater. So this is our little base camp now. Well, uh, it seems like our bristleback wanted to get near the fire. No, I'm playing this on PC.
so this is what yep yeah, this is where that mission was had to kill to knock rebels rebels over smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. Animaeus, chat. Does anybody know my man Animaeus? I want everyone fortifying the pass. Oh, I actually think I just stumped. Ain't nobody in chat knows who Animaeus is. Or what I'm referencing when I say it. Oh, yeah, warrior seem. Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja Raiders, I joined the fight. That's oh, I stumped chat. There, there's no way, because now you guys are Googling. We got people Googling chat. Nobody knew who Animaeus was. More than that, they taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utara who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We the Animaniacs. Speak. No, Animania. Um, and now you got me say Animaeus. No, from Spartacus, guys. Have and none of you guys watched Spartacus? Freely here. Nobody's watched Spartacus. That was such a good show, dude. Yeah, the trainer. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I send my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, Fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. Can't Plainsong help? Plainsong has abandoned all settlements this far out. Then why not just leave? 
They're clearly outnumbered and under-equipped. You could leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. Damn. That's rough, dude. Now, if you guys haven't watched, uh, so Spartacus, I would say season one was okay. I really, really enjoyed season two because they, re well, season one and season two, they really, really doubled down on like the gladiator stuff. And then like season three and four kind of get like weird and it's about like, you know, his army and the whole shit. Uh, I, I really wasn't like as into like the later seasons as I was the first two. Season two, the like was a prequel actually to season one. Uh, and it's because the, the main actor actually died. Who, the guy who plays Star Spartacus actually died. And uh, so that's why when season three comes, it's another Spartacus. So it was actually a pretty whole messed up situation. But um, it, it was it was really, really good show. Uh, but yeah, season one was phenomenal. Season two was the best out of all of them, I think. And then like, I think season, I think there's four seasons, but season three and four are kind of, they're still okay, but I think I thought I know he had either it was either skin cancer or testicle cancer. I thought it was testicle cancer. Yeah, I, th I thought it, I thought he died from ca testicle cancer. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. Tell me more about these metal pods. They are tricky to collect. The Wide Maws sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of so survival the cool thing are is, slim. We might be able to double down. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. So he's talking about wide maw. I don't know if we're actually if that's what we're going to be hunting because if so, with those paws and a whole lot, that would be really really nice for me. Look, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I don't think we're going to I can only wide cover maw, so though. much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Testicular cancer? I mean, what's the difference? Testicular cancer, testicle cancer, it's, this it's is all the best in the we can testing. Do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. All right, let's do it. This is it. Do you have any questions? I don't think I caught your name. Q. I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. I'm ready. Good luck. Come <laughs> see me at the forge when you're done. Oh, what do you mean, good luck, dude? What do you mean, good luck, dude? Donna wanted to see you. Don't know May why, your though. arrow strike true, Outlander. How are you? Guess I better start finding my way up to the top.
Chris, this was cool, man. I, I like Ganagus, obviously. Ganagus was, you know, he was, he was the goat. I need to find a way up there. Of course. No, nah, they did do Crixus dirty. I thought, I thought, uh, I, I thought people said that the reason why Crixus, uh, I didn't, I, I didn't, I don't know. He was wicked cool in season one and two. Yeah, and then he kind of got annoying. Making good use of this. Yeah, this deep chat. I mean, Crixus was getting them cheeks, chat. I'm guessing that's Faust. These wounds were made by machines. I should take a seat pouch to cue. Seems to mean a lot to the Ataro. Find a way up these caves. Yeah, so I mean, I guess two, that regular uh, Utaro there would have definitely got destroyed by two burrowers. I mean, to me, they're pretty low level machines, but we're also the savior of Meridian. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get caught up on all that new Walking Dead stuff that just came out. Once, uh, once I get all caught up on One Piece, I'm, I'm like real deep in the Kaido fight now. Um, so I'll be caught up in One Piece probably within the next few weeks. Yeah, I'm at yeah, I'm at the like yeah, deep in the Kaido fight too. I'm 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 probably like I think I'm maybe 15 episodes away from gear 5. Keep this green shine for later. Those were the tracker ones? Did I, ooh, did I get the circulators for those? Canister burrow, claw shredder. I did get a tracker burrow, yes. Oh, I only got one though. So I wonder what, what the difference is. Let me see. Notebook. Oh, I didn't scan it. I gotta start scanning these damn machines.
toes. Oh, I, I, okay, good. I, I, yeah, we did kick down the ladder. I would, I would, I would, I was, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was kind of in my feels right there. I was like, are you kidding me, dude? But now we kicked down the ladder, so it's not that big of a deal. I was, I was definitely feeling some type of way, 100%. Time it right, I might be able to jump and use my pole caster to get to the other side. I'll stash this away for later. All right, we're almost out. Did I upgrade my bags for your inventory? Yeah, so I've upgraded my bags a little bit, uh, Kim. That you, there's a lot of hunting that you need to do for like the animals and stuff like that. Um, and I have not prioritized a lot of that. I would love to get my amp, my quiver capacity up though. Um, Time to find those wide moss. You know, so we are hunting wide moss. It's gonna be great. So what we need to do is we gotta try to shoot off their their uh, the teeth too because we need them for an upgrade. So let me see. Let me scan these machines real quick. Burrower. Fire can help here. Yeah, so these are just normal burrowers. There they are. There is a wide maw. Those pods they're ejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. I kind of want to fight that wide maw, though. Tim, no way, dude. At this rate, the grannies are going to go extinct, Tim. Tim B is single-handedly exterminating the granny race. I appreciate the love, Tim, seriously. <laughs> oh, there's two wide moths here, so we can...
Got one of the teeth. Yes. Got it. get back to Q with these. Alright, so that power cell debt was pretty good. Uh, there's another wide mod down here I want to go get the teeth from. It's a part. Yeah, yeah. The, the only problem with the highlight is it, it like sometimes it's really nice, but then sometimes it actually bothers me. I'll have for these soon enough. I was able to stun it and take that tusk. Died before the damn tooth came out. Whatever. At least we got one off of it. Literally the last shot on the tooth that freaking died.
I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Not giving up. Protect the seeds of the fallen. Call it out. Hold My the blade line. will find you. Uh. Uh. Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I, I mean, just... I, I killed everybody. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. Ooh, so we got a new sharp shot. Let's see if it's any good. I don't mind the knockdown bow we have, but... So it's just a straight sharp shot. 45 with a 56. Ours is what? 39 and or 78. But ours is also fully maxed. I don't know. I feel like mine is still better than this one. Especially with the knockdown arrows. Yeah, we'll keep the one we have.
Let me see. What do you got for sale, Hunter? Nothing. All right, so let me sell all my valuables here. Okay, we'll get rid of those. Now, I should be able to do those upgrades, right? There was the... Yeah, this needed the wide maw tusk. Oh, it only needed one. I don't know why I thought... I, and I had the, already have the claw shredder tails from before. Okay. Nice. So we can get three on it. Can we get level four? Can we get level four? And we can get level four. We have the shell walker lightning gun. Beautiful. Okay, so this has plus 25% um, component tear, and it has plus 15% overdraw damage. So that's nice. Um, damn, so this is, this is 56 on one upgrade. Let me upgrade it once, just to, I'm not, it's, it's only a little bit of braided wire, so it's not a big upgrade. I just want to see what the second level upgrade is going to bring this up to. 65 and 71. So there's a good chance at level three, this, this bow will actually be a tiny bit stronger than the one we have, but it doesn't, it only has the one ammo type right now, so it's not really worth it in my opinion. Let's get these coiled up. Ooh. Okay, so what pouch can we do? We can do nice spot spikes, damn it. So this is what we want, light arrow quiver. We need jay feathers. So if you guys see any blue jays or birds or whatever, we gotta, we gotta slay them. these ones were to store these it's explosive purge let's look at this for now okay so this we're going to coil up with common lightning, both 7%. This is overdraw damage crit. Yeah, so we'll increase the lightning damage. Uh, let's see. Coil this. I, I don't know. I tried using these shredders yet. That maybe I just am not good at using them, and mine's not upgraded yet. But would you guys have the shredder gauntlets any good? Because I don't, I don't know. I've been having a hard time using the damn thing. Okay, so for this, I want to try to get as much tear and crit as possible. Hmm. Never thought about joining. No, cat, Kelly. None of those uh, other things would be as good as I'm already established on YouTube, so going to kick wouldn't do anything for me. I'd have to start all over again. So, yeah, there's no reason. I've, I've been over here for years. It's YouTube's the biggest platform out there, so. 
sell all you need. All right, so let's head back to. I was going to say Plain Town, but I want to actually head up over here. Yeah, we'll do this mission. So you can't pass time here like you can at the other campsites, it seems. Multi-streaming is... It, it, there's, it's never... Because the, the most... You gotta remember, Kelly, like, uh, because I'm not exclusively on kick, I might get like two, three people that will sit over there and watch me. You know what I mean? Um, and multi-streaming requires a lot of bandwidth. Um, so right now I send 15 to like 15,000 bitrate to YouTube. If I want to send that same quality, it's not like, you know what I mean? It, it, it's going to lag down. That's why I don't do a stream with Twitch anymore. Because um, it's very, very intensive on your bandwidth. Um, and there's just no, there's no real benefit for it. You know what I mean? Because mainly everybody who would watch me is already watching me on YouTube. Um, so yeah, there just would really be no benefit to doing it over on Kick. Same thing with Twitch, that's why I don't mess with any of those. All right, so past time right here to the morning. So these things just like pop out little balls of salvage every now and again. It's not much, but... videos after the uh, so every every video I do or every live stream I do Mike on YouTube becomes a recorded video um, I it's kind of like DVR like I, I, I consistently keep um, everything I do now um, I am trying to work on like series that don't get finished on the channel I am trying to slot additional time um, throughout the day when I'm not streaming to maybe recording every now and again, but as you guys know, I generally have a lot of stuff going on uh, outside of YouTube, so, but trying to just find a few hours, maybe a couple times a week to uh, get some recordings in, so that way, you know, if we stop playing Naruto, right, but some people are really enjoying it, we could still finish the series, you know what I mean? CSC, how you doing? Um, do I think so I played both horizon games um, I, I obviously like cool, forbidden I West is more modern took down a few machines um, when they were here there's the broken bridge I like what they did with the uh, I can look around I like what they did with the machines and the combat and stuff in this one I mean ultimately I I do kind of like the story in the first one quite a bit there was a lot of mystery to it I can override this guy, have him fight for us. I can override a grazer. 
Did I store my warrior bow? No, okay. Why is it not equipped? Work out here. Now to look for Kali's seed pouch. I better start at the bridge. Quite a few machines here. No wonder why she didn't make it. A lot of footprints. Must be from the search party. Well, Mama Triday, we appreciate you being here, for, of course. Yeah, Anthony, when you first start the game, too, it starts off a little... Uh, if you play the first game, you do, you feel super underpowered because, you know, you go from the first game where you're, like, by the end of it, you're, you're pretty powerful. You're, you're pretty powerful. And then when you start this game, it's a super big downgrade. Now, granted, you're a lot stronger at the beginning of this game than you are at the beginning of, of Horizon 1, which is one of the things I kind of really enjoyed about the first game, too, is... When you start off, you are just a basic Nora. Like, she's not super, super, like, amazing. Some of these, like, high-tier machines, guys, they feel like gods. Like, you're just like, oh, my God, how am I ever going to fight these things? And, um, you know, you, you progress throughout the game. And by the end of it, you know, you can easily hang with some of the biggest machines. And then when you start this one, you do kind of feel like you can fight some machines. You know what I mean? Like, you're not absolutely helpless like you are in the first game. But, uh... It's definitely a weird feeling because like, you can't fight Thunder Jaws. Like, I can't fight a Thunder Jaw right now, even though I, by the end of the he first game, you could wax him. His wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. It looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory.
debris. There must have been another path up. Guess Kalai and the search party climbed the cliff instead. Yeah, Freeze arrows were super OP like in the, the first game. Um, Freeze was like the meta. And uh, I feel like they definitely nerfed Freeze a bit in this one. Because uh, how it worked in the first game was when things were frozen, they would take like... It was like guaranteed crits on every hit or something. It was ridiculous how much damage you would do to things that were frozen. Um, in this one, it's not as powerful. Debris on the trail. Oh, it looks like pieces of the bridge. A lot of the trail's broken away. Kalai must have climbed her way up, too. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. I was playing song. Just like the first two times I saw it. That's so nice. Chat, uh, what the hell is that? The, the big eagle thing. Those are the Stormbirds. Stormbirds are pretty OP as shit, too. Those are, those are awesome machines. The Stormbirds are pretty cool. have done this as part of her ritual i should look around my focus will help me figure out what happened to her how the hell did she die up here it didn't seem like there's anything up here the search party was up here all right there's too many tracks to pick out kalai's well, they say she fell That's, that's pretty gorgeous. to figuring out what happened to Kalai. And I have a feeling the answers are on the promontory. I still need to look around up here. Figure out what happened to Kalai. Looks like the edge broke off recently. I still don't think she could have fallen into the river from here. I should keep looking around. I still need to look around up here. 
Figure out what happened to Kalai. I don't see anything. I mean, that pops up, but that's not... That's barrel supplies. The one, I mean, uh... So it has to be this. Yeah. Black eyes with the six the months. Flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalia was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. Good to see you back on. Hey, I'm doing good, Black Eyes. Definitely doing good. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. It's without chat. Die trail ends here with a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Branches were snapped off recently from some kind of struggle. And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. Callie, I've never heard of that. Alec, Alec, no, I've never heard of that. We haven't seen one of these since... I don't think we've seen any of these. This game. Those were like the base level machines, the Watchers. Now you get like Burrowers. Burrowers seem to be like the base level machines in this game. the other woman Kali. those marks on her neck she was strangled at least I can return her seat pouch to Bree so the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff that's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. So what are these things weak to? The weak to shock. Okay. Wow. Dude, these things are ridiculous. 
We only had the one and then two showed up and yeah, then then, then it got real difficult yet. <laughs> New camera? No, no, my camera looks real bad right now because my lighting is off and I'm wearing a uh, a dark color shirt. I told you guys before. So yeah. Uh, am I playing the yeah, I'm I'm playing the game in 4K, but you guys are only seeing it in 1440. Oh, Stalker's got a friend. Just what I needed. I had it. Better grab the killer's seat pouch. Might help. I had it, chat. Oh, Stalker's got a friend. Just what I needed. Catch it, fried circuits a bit. That actually killed okay. it. I better grab the killer's seat pouch. Might help identify her. Wow, that was pretty strong. Yeah, that vertical shock trap owned that thing, dude. Tell me this this young ass girl here murdered this lady. Maybe Fane and Carol back in plain song will know who the seed pouch belongs to.
And I'm free. Coming. Gently. Wait till you have to fight three of them. Yo, two of them was rough enough, dude. Still gonna revisit SOD one? Yeah, yeah, at some point. Some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data. But how to get up there? This place looks really nice at night. With the lights and stuff. Shit is gorgeous. We all lament Calais' death, but perhaps it's time to move on. No. That's Calais. You found it. Bree. Calais didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found. Kalai and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. Belongs to Lina, Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she. You there? Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the east gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summer wind. She's running away. She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. Yo, see chat. And y'all y'all were trying to give this granny immunity? It is a brighter day with you among us, Huntress. You guys were trying to give this granny some immunity, dude? always trying to find a reason this granny gave us a reason we're gonna There's beat Kel. her ass dude what's she holding she got a gun shot give me a reason i mean i already have a reason i'm gonna beat the shit out of her right now 
That's why I lose our stuff. Push her. Oh, that's not even a well. We can't even push her down that shit. Couldn't keep your hands out of the soil, could you? I mean, look at them knees. Wait, why she look like that? So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There was a natural order to all things. Growth, decay, death. It's the way of the world. A tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. And I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. I found Kali's seed pouch. Her seeds will be planted in plain song and remembered. But yours? Yours will never be sown. Someone will. <laughs> no, Kel. No one will. No! She needed to stand trial. Kali deserves justice. Burn her seeds. People should remember Kalai, not the woman who had her killed. It isn't much, but I want you to have this as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you for revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. Damn, chap. That old lady couldn't even get what was coming to her. She got off easy. She got off easy. That's not what I would have done. She died without being slapped. I mean, what else were we supposed to do, though, chat? You know what I mean? I, anything extra would have just been considered savage, you know? I'll make sure Kel's body is properly seen to. Should have punched her when I had to check. That's not me, though, chat. That's not me. That's that's Tim B. <laughs> that's what Tim does. Tim really hates the grannies. So we did find this survey drone here. That's that's Tim's MO chat. So we did have a, a yeah a, a mission down here 
for plain song. We had the mission down here that brings us into the west. And then what other mission do we have? Yeah, it was the Western Bridge one. The Enduring is too high. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're good to go on missions for the most part. We got that one mission down here uh, that we got to do. Right here. I would have found the biggest rocket finder hurler. Damn, Alpha. She was already dead, though. Like, she was already dying. When we burned her seed pouch, she's suffering. She's suffering. Ben, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, so, all right, guys. We're going to end this episode here, though. And, uh... Next episode, we will fire up and knock out this mission, and then we're headed west. Guys, we're headed west. Uh, I might clean up this to the survey drone here, but yeah, for the most part, we're going to be heading west and uh, seeing what that's all about. As you guys can see, we got another cauldron here. So we, we, we got some stuff to do, chat. We got some stuff to do. We're not going to Las Vegas yet, though. But at some point, hopefully we'll make it to Las Vegas. Uh, but again, if you guys are enjoying this and you want to see more, best thing to do is smash that like button, drop comments. Um, even if you're in live chat right now, and make sure you guys go after the stream's over. Go drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And um, it helps. It really helps out, guys. So thank you guys again. I appreciate you all for coming and hanging out. Uh, I got some stuff I got to take care of tomorrow. I'm going to try to get the State of Decay recorded for you guys tomorrow. And uh, see what else we're doing. I'm not exactly sure. All right. So you guys have a good rest of your night. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.